Anexanet is a CRN Triple Crown winner. They're one of HPE's top 20 platinum partners in the U.S. And they've been selected as one of the best places to work for the last seven years by the Philadelphia Business Journal. Anexanet is empowering what's next. Hi, I'm David Davis from Axel Tech Media. We're here at the headquarters of Anexanet, and I'm joined by Mr. Ned Bellavance. He's the Director of Cloud Solutions at Anexanet. How you doing, Ned? I'm doing well. How are you, David? Great. Great. So I want to take a second and talk about the difference between private cloud and public cloud. I mean, everybody's talking about the cloud, but they might not know there's different types of cloud, and they also might not understand you know, why they should choose one over the other. So can you try to help clear up that confusion for folks out there? What's the difference between private cloud and public cloud? Sure. Okay. So ideally, public and private should be very similar in function. Right, uh, they should cover the, some of the same bases, but there are some key differentiators. And the first is private cloud is generally running on premises, on hardware that you own, or in leased equipment that's running in a co-location somewhere. But ultimately, you own the underlay that's running all of your pri private cloud infrastructure. Whereas public cloud is obviously running in someone else's hosted environment, you don't have access to those underlying resources and you don't control what features are being rolled out in the general public cloud. So those are two you know, pretty big differences. Okay, so a big thing is who owns the infrastructure, right. uh, where the data is located in, in most cases. Um, so on-premises versus off-premises. Um, so what about you know, the decision process? Uh, I have a company, should I go with a private cloud or a public cloud? Why choose, right? You can do both and have a hybrid cloud, and that's a completely viable option, but there are some reasons you would want to run a workload in private cloud as opposed to public. One of the big ones is data sovereignty. I need to have my data located in a specific country because of whatever regulations exist in that country. And a great example of that is Germany has some very tight regulations about where data can live. And for that reason, Azure opened up a Germany Azure location to make sure that that information always stays there. But not every country has that, right? So I may need to set up a private cloud in a country so that I know my data will always reside there, but I still want the functionality of a private cloud. Another reason is data locality. I need my data to be close to whatever is running that application or consuming that application. And that would be an instance where you have something like a manufacturing plant. Maybe I have a steel press that's churning out parts, 100 parts per minute. If something starts going wrong with that press, I can't wait for that signal to go up to the public cloud, be processed, and send the signal back down. That could be 500 milliseconds in that time. It's probably mangled a whole bunch of parts and possibly mangled itself. So that's bad, right? right. So we want to have that local and have that quick response time. Um, and then maybe later send that data up to a public cloud for deeper analysis. But if you have it on premises, then you run the, the capability of being able to fix that problem before it becomes worse. Okay. And then from a business perspective, is there uh, some decision process around cost? Is one going to cost less or more than the other? I would argue that private cloud is a much more predictable cost, okay. and that's because you've already paid for the hardware and you generally know what your power and cooling costs are. So you can say, I've plunked down this amount of money, this is how much it's going to cost me for the next three years. Now obviously, needs change, and so you might have to make another capital expenditure sooner than you thought you would, but it does tend to make costs more predictable. Whereas public cloud, if someone leaves a couple monster-sized instances running in EC2, the next bill you get might be a bit of a shock. To learn more about private and public cloud for your company, visit annexanet.com.